Hey. Hey, hey. What up? Hey, what's up? What's going on? What's the word? Hummingbird. What you do this morning? Oh my God. Got those babies out nice and early. Yeah, <laughs> Back to their yeah. mama. <laughs> yeah, man. But they were they were excited. They wanted to get out of here. They were so excited. They love going they over did. there. They play with their puppy. You know, they see yeah. their mama, they see their siblings. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're pretty excited. But I yeah. think I think they, they do the weekend and then I think they're ready to come back. What do you think? Well, yeah, you know, they have it good. That's the fresh air fund. <laughs> they go away uh, to the fresh air fund. Uh, well, that's good. Um, so, you, I see, I heard the phone's ringing a lot. What's going on? Um, uh, inquiries, just people trying to trying to get some information for the new year, like after the new year, what's going on. Um, and because of uh, this pandemic, it's really hard for me to give anyone a straight answer. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not sure, you know, what artists mm-hmm. are interested in, in f- especially flying. Flying seems to be the problem. Not right. really the shows. Not really shows. A lot of the shows are drive-ins. But, um, right. but uh, you know, the actual trip, the flight. Like, that's, we're going, I'm going through the same thing, to be honest. You know, we got the show now in Chicago. Now I know it's a drive-in. I saw the protocol. It looks like it's gonna be, they're gonna be on point. Um, what concerns me more than anything is the flight. Now I did buy that what, you know, 40, 40 layer, <laughs> 40 layer Has, mask. Hazmat <laughs> suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And a gallon of well, you know, even, even before this pandemic, even but I, I had all my lights all, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I cleaned that place before the pandemic. So trust me, I'll be cleaning yeah. it twice when yeah, I get on that plane. Yeah. yeah, and then I'm I'm hearing that, you know, like American Airlines, they're they're kind of pushing people, they're sitting people together, whereas uh Southwest is uh spacing it. But I understand, I know how Southwest works, you know? So mm-hmm. uh you know, a lot of times people try to, they opt for the window or the aisle seat. So those middle seats are always anyway the last thing to go. So, you know, so that's pretty much what's, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I mean, I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this. I'm, so, I'm cool so with what, it. So what is, what is it they're trying to do? They're trying to put concerts together? You know, what is it? Yeah. Concerts? Clubs? What is well, it? Well, I have a, cu- a couple of clubs that call. Um, uh-huh. But they got, they got to get back to me. One's like an intimate. One wanted mm-hmm. for New Year's Eve. You know, and uh, but that doesn't look like a that doesn't look like a that's like that's gonna happen. Um, hey, Jerome, we can't take any calls because we'll get knocked off. It happened yesterday. <laughs> so send us a message right on the bottom is your microphone. You can hold it down and send us a message, and that's the way we can communicate with you. Okay? Yeah, guys. Everybody yeah, so got the- that? You want to communicate with us? Press down on the microphone. And you can send us a message. Right now, we got a message. As a matter of fact, Latif, check it out. Yeah, let, let's search. Let's search. hold on one second. Okay. What's up, fam? Here to join you today once again. All right, we got Eddie in the house. Hey. Right. I'm so glad you joined us. Yeah, he's always. He's I'm always glad we can amuse us. you. <laughs> <laughs> he's been he's around us a lot so he he knows yeah. us pretty well yeah know? yeah so, but you know so that way so you guys know okay yeah so you know angel just mentioned you know this is uh the, the stereo app it's a new app we're brand new to it we're just as new to it. many of you there's maybe a couple of you that have been on this before uh we're still feeling it out yesterday we had a little technical difficulties and but we got through it and we expect to have more the whole idea is to have this thing down packed by the new year. So that's why we didn't want to wait to the new year. We said, you know, let's jump on this thing now. This is a great medium. I love the way it's set up. Um, I like I like the fact that I can make myself look handsome on the on the app, on the little picture. <laughs> so I can, I oh, make hey, I want to give cool. a shout out. Let's give a shout out. We got we got Jerome here. Okay. We got Tom. Tom is here. We got yeah. Rack Attack here. Oh, we got Eddie right. in the house. All right. What's up, y'all? Good, glad, 
Glad you guys are joining us. I hope you guys join us as much as you can. You know, every day we're going to be on here from 12 to 1. That's our goal. We're keeping it short so that way if we have to continue the topic the next day, we can. And we're just going to try to keep it consistent. The whole idea of this of this program here is really to help build the genre. Now, you're dealing with me and you're dealing with Angel. Two total, you know, two a pretty wide spectrum within the freestyle genre. Now, we're both have been doing this for many years on different, like I said, on different sides of the table. So there's a lot of information we have. However, there are things that we don't know and those things that we don't know, if you guys have questions, um, we'll find out. We'll find out, we'll bring yeah, it to the next up. day. Questions yeah. you have. Hey, yeah, we got yeah, some so, right now. We got so, some right so, now, you wanna check them out. Yeah, okay, let me pop these on people. Okay. Hey Latif and Angel, it's me. Rack Attack um, here in Florida, and I am so bummed that I cannot go to Chicago to the Julian Jumpin Perez drive in where I saw that you will be performing, and I am so jelly. Uh -huh. Aww. Well, you know what? I'll be in Florida. You know that because that's my happy place. So I will definitely be there performing, and we can hook up. Yeah, thanks for showing up here, though. Hold on, let's see. Absolutely. Hey, glad to finally catch you guys live. I'm enjoying the show. You guys make my day. Have a good day, and then keep on doing what you're doing. Ah, hey, Jerome. Thank Jerome. you. Jerome's thanks for joining us. A huge supporter, has purchased probably every one of my books. I don't know if he read them, though. He said he did, but I think he did. <laughs> I was sure he did. <laughs> Let me see who else is here. Hold on. What's up, Latif? What's up, Angels? You know who this is. Listen to y'all. Yo, yo, Latif, the podcast was awesome last night, man. Keep it up. And Angel, by the way, thank you for the poster. It took a while to come. Thank you for the, the writing that you put on it. I'm always going to cherish it. So thank you very much. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you for the yeah. support. And thank yeah, you for joining Tommy. us. Tommy, too. You know, we have, a, we have quite a few supporters on here. And we... We appreciate everybody, and uh, we're glad you guys could join us. Uh, the podcast that Tommy's talking about is I have a evening podcast that has been going on almost a year. It's a, a nightly podcast called Good Night Freestyle. It's basically me babbling about all the bullshit I have to go through throughout the day, even though it's not that much now because of the pandemic. But once work starts to kick in, you'll you'll see all the craziness that I got to deal with between artists and promoters. But let's get into but, this topic. But, but you know so, what? They're getting to know you right now. Because you're basically yeah, they, talking about yourself. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. But but you know, I want to get into this topic, okay? Because we don't have that much time. So the topic We got one more question. We got one more question. Go ahead. I picked up some overtime, so I haven't read the books yet. So after the New Year's, I'm gonna get started on them. <laughs> yeah, I'm Yay. just playing with I just played with you. Yeah, <laughs> listen, it's, th it's three books. It's almost a thousand pages combined. So take your time. You know, people are trying to knock out all three books at once. Please don't do that. I can't do that. You'll lose interest. It's just too overwhelming. Work on the book. Take If that book takes you three years, they're beautiful. Uh, that's the beauty about reading is you can take your time with it, you know? But anyway, let me, I want to jump into the subject. We'll continue to take messages. We'll let them pile up. Just so you guys know, when the messages come in and we play them back, they'll be played in the order that they came in. We have no control over that. So we don't even know. When we hit the the, the play button, we have no idea who's on it. So, you know, so uh, just bear with us and we will answer. If you have any questions or whatever, this is the place to do it, okay? But um, what I wanted to talk about was um, the topic is um, freestyle music and social media, how it's impacted the freestyle genre and you know and how we can use it to help improve the genre now i'm a huge fan of social media huge fan i'm i'm i feel blessed to um to have been able to experience this transition during my lifetime i see a lot of people um who have a bad taste in their mouth for social media oh i want to be on that i can't deal with the drama or you get older people that are just not up on the technology my mom's not around anymore but i'll tell you if she was my mom would have been on everything because i would have encouraged her to be on everything this is a great way especially think about it now with this pandemic and you think about how we can reach out to people and how we can still you know we would have been all basically in a room staring at the walls had we not had you know facebook and ways to still you know be social you know and yeah it might not be face to face but it's still social. And they say, you know, social media 
um, it's not good for the kids. It kind of takes away. No, I don't think so. I don't because there's a lot of kids that are very shy and had it not been for social media, they wouldn't talk to anybody. So I think social media is a great thing. I mean, listen, I have a daughter who is in Germany. I could not even phantom the idea of me not being able to talk to my daughter, you know, that often during a pandemic, seeing that she's a nurse in a hospital and has already been on quarantine about three times because they had to work on, on COVID patients, you know? So I would have been freaking out. Now I get to talk to my daughter through FaceTime or Messenger um, for as long as I want. So that's how we sit down, we eat lunch together. And it's a beautiful thing. So I'm a huge fan of social media. Um, and and I, I want to talk about how to use it. You know, I'm can, I, can I ask you one question? Can I ask sure. you one question? What? Was it that you couldn't phantom it or fathom it? Which one was fathom it? Fathom it. Fathom it. <laughs> you don't mess, mess with my language now? <laughs> Yo, guys, I got to deal with this all day long. So, yeah, I'm a writer, but she, she corrects all my... I, I'm not a talker. I never said I was a talker. I'm a writer. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> so anyway yeah. Engl English is your second language. <laughs> that's my second... Yeah, that's my second language. <laughs> but anyway, what, what I'm trying to... What, I'm, what I want to do with this right here is what I'm trying to say is that, you know, we have been dealing with this genre for a very long time. And and I have, you know, pages like Freestyle Games, Phonies Online, and a bunch of other ones. Those deal with a totally different subject because that was a subject that was in that had to be spoken about and had to be dealt with. And that's why that, that page was put up. And I think that page has been a great thing and it's done its job. With this app right here, and with what we're trying to do here is we're trying to see if we could take... And I didn't want to do it on Facebook. Yeah, we could have done this on Facebook Live. We didn't want to do it because we really want to pull people out of Facebook for a minute because we know everybody loves to be Facebook. And we're not trying to take you out of Facebook, but just for a minute to come on here without any distractions um, so that way we can talk about, um, you know, how social media has impacted um, the market. Now, the way I want to start this is I want I need to ask Angel a question because it's very important. And... Um, when you first came out and show me, show me pop. Okay. All right. Yeah. How would it have been different? How would it have been different? What do you see the difference if social media had existed during that time? I mean, we would have been able to promote it all over the world in, a, in, a, in, 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 in a week. It wouldn't have taken us months to promote it all over the world. What was the typical ways that you guys used to promote? What were some of the traditional ways of promoting back then? Back then, I mean, there was payola. They could say it wasn't, but there was payola. There okay. were the, the DJs. For those who don't know, payola yeah. was a way, an uh, illegal way for people to pay the radio stations to play your record. They used to literally take money, cash money, and put them into album covers and hand them to the program directors. And for that money, they would play the record, you know, and it worked, it worked. But they, they got on top of that, even though it still exists in other ways. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, with the DJs, you had the DJs, they'd get together and um, you'd play your new record, you'd go to clubs, bring your record. You know, you try and get anybody to play your record just to get it, you know. Another thing we used to do was, we would call the radio stations and request the songs. I remember that, I remember so, that. You would tell everybody, you know, yo, do me a favor, request my song. You know, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. With Show Me, funny, believe it or not, we never did any of that. That, mm. sh that song just took off. It was right. crazy. It was, I mean, they started playing Show Me before it was a record. Mm. It wasn't even pressed and, the, and right. the radio station was playing it. And it's funny that you say that because you know, when we put out Take Me In Your Arms, okay, with Lil Susie, what, the way they broke that record is they actually bought radio ads they bought radio station uh commercials. Yes, no, but yeah and uh -huh. what we used to do what we used to have to do is every time that radio station that record played on the, on a, as a commercial we would all get on the phone and start requesting we would call five six seven times with different voices yeah hey, that, song, <laughs> that song that just played on that commercial what was the name of that song i love that song can you play this song we kept man we did that and i remember when they finally added the record and it was like we celebrate it was crazy you know and then, yep. then the record took off you know yeah, but, yeah. You know, so but now what about the interaction with the fans? Because now with social media, you're pretty active on social media. You're on Facebook. I'm not as active as I want to be because I have right. so many other projects I'm working on. 
Right. But yeah, a lot of people are very active. You see artists on it all day. But how was They're your interaction back in the back in the days? How did you interact with your fans? See, like now, see everybody that's on there. Yeah, they are friends, but they began as friends, fans. They were fans. fans, fans right, of, right. Of I you. mean, there were fan clubs back in the day. Okay. Um, we would get letters sent to us. Okay. And you know, it was so funny. The girls used to get letters from all the guys in college, and I used to get letters from all the guys in jail. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't me. That wasn't me, though. No, it wasn't you. You were just watching me while you were there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so yeah, so your interaction with the so so basically, you know, you had the you had the fan club president. Yeah, and the live the, shows, the live <coughs> shows. Okay, and then your meet and greets. Right, right. Your meet and greet. So, the was, show. so there was no real way of creating no any long lasting relationships with your fans. I mean, some of them you did. You became friends with them. But how did that some, occur? Like, not really what? too many. Was not it really because too many. They, because they were regulars at the shows that they came to the shows. Right, all the time? they were regulars. Did they or follow you? Know, they, were you regulars, like, they were regulars who knew the promoter, so they would be backstage. Like that's how you became friends with them. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so did you have fans that actually like chased the group, like went from show club to club, and sometimes you'll see them in other states, and you'd be like, oh shit, you know they they came down here. To I had I kids. had I had some good ones, I had some scary ones like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that was the interaction. That was the interaction with you know with the fan base, and you know in those days, you know that one on one interaction between the fans and the artists was actually. Was it was kind of frowned upon? It was considered, uh, you know, being too accessible. Do you remember that? Right. Yeah, you know, I remember that. But you know what? You know, I was a rebel. They also told me I wasn't supposed to say I was Puerto Rican on, on uh, interviews. Right. You know, and what did I say? I'm Puerto right. Rican. <laughs> right. But what I'm talking <laughs> about, I'm talking about in general. I, was. I never, I'm, I never wanted to hide who I was. I never wanted to change my personality. Right. But what you I'm trying to say, I'm, try, I'm, us, I'm using you as an example, but I'm talking about in general. Right. I'm talking about what, how the labels and management usually dealt with the artists when it came to the fans. The, fa the okay, artists, you weren't supposed, they didn't want you to be accessible. Right, right. And they, they didn't do it to be mean. They did it because they thought, they felt, and it, and it, and it worked in those days. In those days, the, the, the less accessible an artist was, the more mysterious they became, the more intriguing they became. Right, like Michael it, Jackson. Right, you know, you were careful about, you know, too many interviews created overexposure. And right. you were seeing too many places, overexposure. Sometimes they would take artists purposely off of the road for a while so they could record. But the, the, the secondary uh, reason for that was being is, is to take them out of the light for a little while to kind of right. let the, the smoke. So, however, now, now with social media that whole shit has totally done a 360. see there is no overexposure anywhere anymore right now if anything it's underexposure it's underexposure that's mm -hmm. why you look at you, you look at certain artists they're everywhere mm -hmm. you'll find them on every platform they're very accessible yeah it's hard for them to it's hard for them to interact one-on-one -on -one. You know, with with any any of the fans themselves, that you know they can't because they're getting you know 126 thousand uh, comments. You know, of course they're not, not going to sit not, there. Not only that, you have those artists that are not who they pretend to be. What do you mean? Meaning they're one person on social media, but if you know them, that's really not them. Right, but even that's becoming a that's becoming that's starting to go become obsolete as well. You see, transparency with the artists, then that goes with, with, now a lot of the older artists, you won't see that. They're still going to have that old school mentality. Right. But the new, the new school artists know they're putting out, listen, they're not, they're not trying to put records out to sell records. They're putting records out so you could hear them because the money's going to be in the performances, the live right, performances. Right, the live performance. That's why you have artists now putting out a record every single day. Right. You know? But but now but but now let me ask you this you know where you know is there a line to be drawn is there is there a, like where does it where does that one on one end you know what I mean it, can you be overexposed can you be 
you as an I'm talking about you as an artist. How do you feel? Now you hear I mean, me. You're around TMI. me. I mean, there's always TMI. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like what? Do you really think? I don't that know. That... Not, I don't think any fan wants to hear your damn problems. Really? So yeah, when I see these people with their problems out there, you know me personally, I'm just not a person like that. You know that. Right. I always like to see the brighter side of things. Right. So I have a problem. I just tackle it. I don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but what about what about what about people who? How about people who talk about their problems, express what what's going on, and maybe there's somebody else listening or watching that's experiencing a similar problem. You think that will help them in any way? Matters or, on the problem. Or let's it say matters you, on the problem. It matters on the problem. But not okay. only that. Another thing that I notice is people. You have those artists that they rant and they rant and they rant, right? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Say what's bothering you. Say what the problem is. But you know, try and have a solution for it. Okay. You know, I don't want to hear your problem over and over, but you don't have a solution for it. All right. Okay. So, how should an artist right now? How should an artist you feel? How should an artist be using social media? What is the what is the plan? What do you do? You think anybody knows? Because I personally don't think anyone really has an idea, and that's understandable. It's very, it's a, you know, social media is still in its infancy. We think, oh, it's been I around think, fifteen years. I think years. to get to know your fans, to get to instead of instead of you wanting them to know you, why don't you try to get to know them? You get what I'm saying? Okay. You know that, that happens with a lot of artists. They're so stuck in their head and how fabulous they are that they just want to tell people how they are, but. Why don't you get to know the, your fans and find out why they're your fans? And maybe they have other interests that are the same as yours. Maybe that's why they're your fan. You know, you just never know why. But get to know your fans. That's that's that would be my biggest thing to tell people. Get to know your fans. So now with social media, let's say Facebook, and, and because it seems to be a favorite among freestyle, the freestyle genre, and and that's obvious. It's because it's an older platform. And mm -hmm. it caters more to basically to our generation. There was a mm -hmm. time when Facebook was for a younger generation, and then we stepped in, and the younger generation dipped. Same it thing sure happened. With, <laughs> they, the same thing happened with Instagram. Instagram was only remember Erica or Instagram. I don't do Facebook. I only do Instagram. I'm like really? Okay, well I'm gonna go over there too. As soon as we were over there, she dipped. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then Santana got on TikTok. I said, "What's that? Oh, it's TikTok. Oh, really? Okay." I'm gonna get in there, so you know. So I went in there, and what she did? Yeah, I deleted my account. I'm like, what the hell? Why, you, why the hell you delete? <laughs> why you delete your account for? <laughs> but hey, listen. If anyone has any ideas or uh, or have any any, you know, how do how do you feel? I'm talking about you guys who are listening. How do you feel? What what? How do you feel? The freestyle genre, how's it impacting? How's the social media impacting the genre? Any of you guys who are fans have been fans for at least 30 years, probably. And, and you remember being a fan in the beginning as opposed to being a fan now. Is anybody is do you do you see a difference? Is is it better? Is it worse? Is it what you expected? Is it disappointing? You know, if, if you guys oh, could I have chime a question, in. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Um what do they want from the artist? I'd like to know what the fans want from the artist. Okay. Well, you guys got two questions now. You can no, you gave them 50 questions. I gave them one. <laughs> you had that multi-level freaking question. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, but that's what I want to get. I want to see, I want to get to the root of it. I right. Don't, because they could tell you, one person could tell you, you know what it is that they want. You, get, you know, twenty people could tell you twenty different things what they want, but how is it different? Do they see a difference? Mm -hmm. You know, see, I'm not on that side of the fence. I could pick up the phone and call any artist I want, but what right. if I couldn't? What if I couldn't? And I don't follow, even though I'm a huge fan of hip hop R&B. I don't really follow the genre. I'm not. They're not my friends on Facebook. I don't follow those because I, I use this mostly for business, so I stay within the circle. You know. I don't know how I would have been. I don't. I don't have that experience on how I would have been uh, back then, as opposed to to now. How I would have been dealing with social media, right? You know. See, I want to be able to use the the platforms to help build the to help build the genre 
and there's there's so much room in here. People, there's a lot of people that are not gonna, you know, people in the industry are not gonna share this information. They're not gonna do it because everybody's worried about someone else stepping in. I am so convinced of the abundancy within the genre. People who are interested in getting involved, every we've all had that. You know, if you listen, if you're a fan of freestyle, then you will have an interest. At some point in your life, you probably thought. I would have loved to have been an artist. So I would have loved to have been you, you a manager. Heard you, just said, you heard what? what you just said about the artist being scared of the place being taken. Now, I remember when everybody was pulling back in the freestyle, you know, trying to get the freestyle artists back out to perform. Yes. I was actually reaching out to girls that I knew in girl groups. Okay. And telling them, oh, you know, you guys need to perform. And everybody's telling me, why are you trying to get these three girl groups to perform right if they don't perform you can have all the shows see but that's right. not logic logic is to have a variety so that the fans right. keep coming logic right. isn't for you to keep performing every week because right. what's going to happen is they're going to get tired of your ass right and you know that so was if something you want to keep the freestyle genre going you need more groups more shows right. with different right. groups not the same groups at every show right right and that was one of the things that you know you and I we always saw from eye to eye on from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, is that we never had that that selfish thing about us. We saw we saw that. We thought it was a good idea for other people to be involved in the business. I'm always right. encouraging people. Listen, how many how many new promoters have I been behind? Right. I mean, so listen, you even said you you will help people to be booking agents. They don't have a problem with that. I'm a booking agent. It's how I make my bread and butter. But but you know what hip hop has thousands of booking agents. Freestyle has like three. This right. and, and look at so look how big hip hop is. It's abundant. Right. Freestyle right. has the same ability. People say, right. oh, no, it doesn't. Listen, I travel the country. I've been everywhere from Miami to Maui. I've been to every all the major freestyle concerts. I've seen the what can happen, and I've mm -hmm. seen where we're lacking. And that's the part of the business that we're lacking. We're lacking that ability to share with others and say, hey, right. come on. But people got to realize is that when we die, got to realize our generation, we're in our 50s. I'm talking about me, you, and the rest of the artists, we're all pretty much more or less. Once one starts to go, the others are right behind. What happens then? Mm -hmm. who, who takes over? Who gets the torch? Who's going to get the torch? Right. It's done. It's over. So right. if we don't start fixing that now, then it's over. Why be selfish like that, really? Why be selfish? I agree. I don't want to I don't want to die and just say, "Well, you know, once I'm because I heard someone say that once. I won't say who this. They said, "Yeah, well, you know, who cares once I'm dead? I don't care this whole thing just dies." Ah. I I'm not I don't agree to I don't agree with that. This so will, you, will, will, you, will you give me five dollars if I tell you who it is that said that? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't do that. Because you know I'm good that. at you know I'm good no, at no, that. No, 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 because they're good people. I, they're good. They're, no, no, they're good people, and I understand where they were coming from, but I didn't agree, and I spoke up on it. Yeah, you know? yo, we got and some I, questions. Lala, there's questions, Lala. I agree with Angel on that point. Of course, you hear that, Latif? Of course, everybody's gonna agree with Angel. Angel with me. <laughs> I, I said, hey, you might as well move into my house because you know what? Everybody in my house agrees with Angel. The kids, <laughs> the grandkids. I'm always wrong, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who else is on. Maybe somebody agrees with me. Let's see. That's true. I mean, I've listened to new freestart artists, and uh, they are nowhere near to what. Freestyle was when I was growing up in the 80s with you, uh, the cover girls and expose and new shoes and a whole bunch of different new Noel and TKA. Um, a lot of those groups are unique and um, I haven't seen any new groups coming up that are anywhere near you guys. Huh. Yeah, see, that, so know? that's why we got to find some new artists. Yeah. Yeah, this Maybe is, this... it takes a village. It takes yeah. a village. Yeah, you know, and this is why, you know, you know, and I've spoken, I have a, um, I have a vlog, a video vlog on this on my YouTube channel where I talk about mentors and I talk about, you know, it's important to go and mentor others. I get people that call us here all the time and I'm an open book. Like, I'm going to tell you 
whatever it is you need to to whatever it is you need to ask. I don't I'm not claiming to know it all. Sometimes I don't, <laughs> but sometimes when they ask me questions, I don't know something. It, it helps educate me because I'm going to go and find the answer. You know, right. but you know, we for some but you reason. You know what? And, it's good to hear it from the fans. Yeah, that was a great yeah. comment, Al. That yeah. was a great comment. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. yeah, you know, and this is nope. what we need. You know, yeah, and this is what we need. We need to, we need to, uh, we need to hear this from you guys because we need to know what's what's going on. But but, and you're right. The new artists don't have. But you know what it is? Also, you got to realize that when these new when these artists came out at one point, um, they were more or less our age. We were kids. So we were 17, 18 years old, but guess what? So were the artists. That's not the case right now. Right now, you know, we got new artists coming in and guess what? They're coming in at 40 and 50 years old, which I spoke about this yesterday. I'm cool with that. I don't have an issue with that. That's not a problem. Matter of fact, that's part of what freestyle is about and I'm proud of that. That's cool. But if we really want longevity with the genre, we need to get the kids in. We right, need to younger, get we, we need to get the yeah, and we need and the only way the kids are gonna come in is the our artists have to step in and take them by the by the hand and help yeah. them through. Even if it means you know these artists listen. If someone came and said if three girls came and young girls and they want to sing Show Me and they want to do a remake, I would encourage it so much. Absolutely, they're not, so try, they're not trying to be phonies. They want to be a whole new group, but they want to cover the song. So many of these artists are getting upset at that. That you cannot I do would, that. That's I would. bad. That's bad for the market. Allow people to come in. Allow people to come in. Let me check this message. Hey, Lee, uh, Latif, to answer your question, uh, I've been following freestyle since I was 15, and I think that the drama got better thanks to you. You know, you're doing all kinds of cool things. You made it better. I'm still founded this day at the age of 47, man. But you know, thank you for all you do. Uh, I really do appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Tommy. Yeah, the checks, the checks in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy got that sexy voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I, sound like, I sound like Tommy when I have a sore throat, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Al. Hey, it's the Godfather. <laughs> but, 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 you know, but that's, but that's the thing, you know. So what can we do? How can we do? Listen, straight up to the, to the listeners right now. If you know kids... Who have an interest? Do, and, oh, and, and, oh, I just thought what? of something. Do you remember what Eddie Rivera used to do? What the instant feedbacks? Yeah, remember that? Yeah. What if we did something like that online? Yeah, that's that's possible. That's that possible. would be dope. Explain yeah. what that is. Instant feedback. Well, basically, people came in with their demos, and, and you mm -hmm. know what? Eddie Eddie basically got it from Motown. He got it from um from um uh. What's his name? Uh, uh, Barry Gordon. Um, and what they used to do is they used to bring new material, new songs in, into a group of professionals. And they used to play the music. And he used to say, the way Barry Gordon used to say, if you guys read the, the autobiography, he used to say, if you had your last $5 and you were either gonna, he had, and you were starving and you had to buy the, this record or a sandwich, which one would you, how many of you would, buy a sandwich and if you raised your hand, they would count that in. How many would buy the record? And if the record beat it, they would actually put the record on and they would consider moving it through the assembly line. It was, and, and Eddie Rivera pretty much had a similar concept. And I know that's where he got it from, which I thought was genius, you know, which still is. But, but before we get that far, how can we get young artists to become interested? See, this is the thing. They, they, you know, we have to get the young generation interested in the music. As far as they're concerned, this is for some old folks. There's some old well, that, folks. That, that comes from their parents. That comes, you know what I'm saying? Aunts, right. uncles, older cousins. Right. You know, so, how, I'll tell you right. Too, so how would they I, do it, I though? I feel we have a lot of young fans in Texas, in California, in Chicago. There are a, a lot of young fans. Right. There aren't or there is? There are. There are. Ara, yeah, Ara, yes, Ara. Yes. <laughs> yep, there is. There's not yes. a lot, but you know what? If the genre can somehow come out, and and you know what? And it shouldn't be that difficult because we got young hip hoppers, we got young rappers, and right. then meanwhile you look at some of the older rappers who are in their sixties. You know what I mean? Well, you know what you also got to do. You got to let them put their stamp on it. Because you see the other people, when they want to produce a younger person, they're like, oh, no, freestyle has to sound like this. No, no. 
Let them right. take the, the 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 let them take the base of freestyle and then make it their own. That's right. how we're going to evolve. Well, the way that's going to happen is we can't unfortunately producers, our old school producers, a lot of you guys are mm -hmm. still kind of stuck on a certain sound. I understand it. Right. Right. Trust me, it's very clear to me. It's not a bad thing. But it's No, really but that's what I'm saying. You got to let them have take our old sound, bring in their new sound and marry them. Right. You understand? Right. And I think that that's going to have to be by bringing in some new producers. I think the producers have to be young, young as young or younger than the artists that they're working with. Right. That's how that's that's gonna, because they well, Yeah, you different. know what? We were all around the same age. The artists yeah. and the producers back in yeah. the day yeah, we all and what happened, the all the execs, all the execs were older than you. They didn't really have right. the ear. They relied on what the producers of the street, of what they were liking. If the producers and the DJs, think about also the DJs. Yeah. So let's yeah, say, yeah. Uh, you know, you had you, you had you, you had, you know, your producers, and then you had the little Louis Vegas who played the stuff. You know, think about that. Yeah, that was we were all the, around the same the, age. Right, that was the system. That was and the and system we all had our ears, we all had our ears to the streets. That's what the kids do. They have their ears to the street. Well, no, it's not that they have their ear to the street. They are the street. True. They are the street. The ones who well, have you know, their I'm gonna ears have to. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tell you something that I understand what you're saying, but you're one of those persons. <coughs> you're one of those people that have a young ear. You absolutely you have a young ear. So why I got all this hair coming out of my ear? <laughs> I'm saying you listen to the same shit as Santana. <laughs> <laughs> She thinks you're so cool because you and her listen to the same music. Well, yeah, I just, I, I always look for, I like to listen to new stuff. That's what it is. I listen to stuff that most people don't even know who the artists are. So that's, that's just me. But, um, yeah, we uh, got some more questions. All right, let's, let's check these questions. Hey, Latif and Angel, D Marie. I'm so happy I was able to catch you guys. Um, I do want to touch on the social media and access to the artist um i'm looking at it from management perspective and uh you know digital record label perspective um i encourage my artists to get out there but i do not encourage the rants i do not encourage um the satire that's going on within freestyle um my name has been thrown around so many times in some of these uh uh you know facebook live sessions in order to gain the clout um, I think that social media should be used to um, empower which our artists try to do by you know playing other artists music um, uplifting the genre in a in a whole instead of the rants so that's my two cents <laughs> <laughs> hey girl no, thank you for joining us yeah thank you yeah hey you know what that's that's valid points and you know what you're in a great position to answer that question too because i know what you're doing i see what you're doing out there and i think it's great you know <laughs> and you know what they gotta throw your name around if they worry when they stop throwing your name around listen my name has exactly. been dragged through the, <laughs> through the mud for years you know people thought yeah. that that was gonna they really thought that that was gonna do something to my career i has listen i've been hated by the kings of the kings of freestyle trust me the biggest and the baddest and they were, weren't able and all they did really was help you know, catapult my career. That's what they did, you know? So all you got to do is focus on what you're doing and they're good. Let them talk. Let them talk. But yeah, yeah. You but know, I agree. And, and I agree. I agree with, I agree, I agree with you that the artists, these people with their rants over and over, you know, when I have something to say, when I feel I have to let somebody have it, it's very rare. Yeah. No, I do do it, but it's very, very rare. It might be once a year. Yeah. You know, you know what it is? What it is too. A, but that's why I have such a big impact when I do let somebody have it because I don't yeah. do it all the time. Yeah, and, and the thing is, it's sometimes it's hard to control the artists. And you know, me and your Angel have bumped heads like that for many years. Where, and you know, I've always tried to, you know, you know, put it on her. And I, I would tell her, I said, listen, you know, and artists do this. Artists, see, regardless of what anybody says, artists have an ego. They they have an ego. And, and an artist can see 1,000 posts that says how much they love them. And as soon as that one post says, I can't stand them, they ugly, they fat, they yeah. can't sing. Yeah. That's see, I the can one agree that with that. I, mean, I, I, I can absolutely agree with that. That, that I happens. Used like, I used to be like that. Yeah. Used to. Right. But now I focus on the people who do like me. Right. Because I right. feel like it takes my energy to deal with those type of people. Yeah. 
And not only that, um, I don't even call what I do rant. If I'm going to let you have it, I'm going to let you have it. But, but I'm going to have a solution to the situation. This is right. the way we're going to handle it. So we don't have to go through this again. You understand what I'm saying? When people just rant to rant and just do the same shit over and over with that rant, it becomes tired and it becomes weak and nobody wants to listen to them anymore because it has no impact because they do it all the time. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I understand what she's trying to do. You oh, know? Yeah. yeah. But listen, oh, I, you, you, I get you, it. listen, you keep doing what you're doing. And you know, we're here. If you ever have any questions, if we can help you, you know a lot. I know you know a lot. But if there's anything we can always, you know, ever you know, throw Not your only way that, to, you have a great yeah, aura, you have a great personality. So yeah, I definitely yeah. see you going far in this business. Yeah, just yeah, just keep just you know, just keep be consistent. Just be consistent and keep it keep it going and you're you're educated so that any artists that are under you, they're lucky. They're they're gonna they're gonna be in a on 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 good ground. Let's, let's in a get great this message. situation. Yeah. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Uh, I can't leave Angel out to answer your question, Angel. What I would like to see from artists is, is that being that us fans, we spend our hard earned money to come and watch the artists perform. I would like to see the artists to come out on their downtime and spend time with the fans and get to know them better. Maybe hang out with them or something. What do you think? You know what? I agree. I agree a million percent. One thing that I always do is I sign autographs. I, I not only sign autographs, I bring pictures, my own pictures that I pay for and give them to the fans. Not only that, I don't leave the, the performance. I don't leave signing autographs until everybody gets an autograph. I want to yeah. make sure that everybody knows that I appreciate them being yeah. there and supporting. Yeah. So I agree yeah. a million percent with you. I, and I, I mean, I have I, a lot I, of good ideas. I, I have a lot of good ideas, Thomas, that I plan on on um on doing this year that are going to bring the artists and fans together. The artists yeah. that want to participate. Yeah. Our whole camp is like that. Lil Susie is the same way. We we she sits there, she takes pictures. Sometimes she's sitting there and I'll look at the line and there'll be 300 people online. And I'll look at her. She'll say, how many people we got? I said, about 300. She'll say, okay, <laughs> let's get to work. And she'll yeah. sign every, right, every single shot. one of them. Yeah. <laughs> give me a shot. Uh, like Thomas, the next just, 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 just a heads up also. Okay, so now that's that's the answer on the artist side. And you get a lot of, you get some artists that are not down. You get some artists that will run out the back door. Um, and then you'll have some artists that are really down. They want to do it. On, on my perspective, on my side, yes, it's a great idea. But sometimes we got to be careful. So I have to read the crowd. Remember, I, I work with all women. And sometimes it's me and some security that I'm not. They're there, but I don't rely on them. Okay, so there's been many times that I've had to step forward because my eyes are constantly on my girls. Um, but I have to read the room. It's very important I read the room. If I see I'm, when the girls are performing, I'm looking at the audience. I'm looking at the front row. I see who's acting stupid. I see who's drunk. I see who's looking jealous. I see all this. And when these people get online to do autographs, I already know where they are and I got my eyes on them. And that's when you'll see me step closer to the girls. And a lot of times I have to watch the hands because the hands get a little sticky. So we would love to do that. Unfortunately, we can't always do it. Now, when we have people that we know personally, a lot of times we'll try to set up where we could bring them backstage or, or bring them into the VIP. Sometimes they don't allow the backstage. Or, or meet us or, at the hotel. Or, or meet us at, at the hotel. Because sometimes we have our little own personal meet and greet. So we'll have a handful of friends. If they, you know, uh, that we'll say, hey, meet, we'll, we'll tell them the hotel that we're in and we'll just all hang out. And uh, usually we'll order some pizza. We'll sit in the, in the lobby and just eat pizza. And, it, and it's cool. But yeah, it's cool. But the beauty of this now is, again, back to social media. We can right. still We can still do that on a safe level right it's it's safe now right you know it could be annoying so sometimes you know people have to have the the right etiquette we get people that just don't know how to do it people who go right away and they start requesting to asking this we're asking for then we can't you know we can't always accommodate that you know when we get 25 people ask for a, a video drop we can't always do that you know so then it doesn't look good for us but you know but we try let me get this message I was talking about like maybe Latif and you, Angel, just fly out to your fans by yourselves and come and hang out with us and get to know us and, uh, you know, have lunch with us. You know what I'm saying? Just not as like a, a freestyle event. I was talking about like 
you and Latif can come out and hang out and, you know what I'm saying, and get to know your fans. Just used to, you know what I'm saying, uh, like a freestyle fan. We're going to have to hang out in your house then. <laughs> we'll put a post, we're going to put a post and we're going to be, and we'll be like, yo, everybody, we're going to be hanging out at Tommy's house uh, this, <laughs> this weekend. You guys uh, bring the food and we're going <laughs> to, we're going to hang out. Tommy says, okay, y'all can sleep over if you want. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're looking into situations like that right now, Tommy, because, um, you know, we're going into different aspects of the entertainment industry, not just performing. You know, Latif has his books. I've been pushing him to go and do the autograph signings in different states. So that would be another way where we'd be able to get together with the fans outside of, you know, the performances where he would be there signing his autographs. We can all get together after, maybe go, you know, to a little restaurant, hang out, chill out, you know, have a few drinks, whatever, and get to know each other. So, yeah, I see I see that. I see all of that happening after this pandemic. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, keep in mind, you know, we, though our, our kids are at our house, our grandkids are not. So, so we unfortunately don't have the freedom that we would like to have. So a lot of times we have to schedule that stuff when we're actually already on the road. So a lot of times, you know, people... They want to meet up with us, and we have we can't really meet up with them until we go to the, to their city, and uh, and we'll do the show like now Chicago. Of course, we're going to meet a few people that we're gonna we haven't seen in a while. We have California that we're locking in now for August. They just called us for Florida for uh, February, but I don't know if we're gonna do that. That might become an issue, so that's not locked in. That's not in stone. If it is, you guys will send me post it. But uh, we'll see rack this. attack. We'll see rack attack if the Florida. Goes. <laughs> Yo, TV crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an idea, man. You know, I was just, you know, throwing some ideas out there. It's cool. I don't know, Tommy, man. I see your avatar, bro, and that shit scares me, man. I swear. What's it? Why? It says, oh, you look like gangster, man. He's too gangster. Yo, it's so funny. When Tommy put his avatar, he did his avatar the first time, and she was like dark skin. Tommy's a, <laughs> Tommy's a big white dude. And he, he all of a sudden, he looked like a Puerto Rican from the Bronx. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, Tommy, man. He goes, I can't find the white skin. I like it's in there. Go down. You gotta, you gotta scroll down a little bit more. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So listen. Um, but yeah. So so all right. So I, I see where I see where everybody's everybody's going with this. So you know we wanna we you know this platform here we wanna try to keep it where we can bring you know more of the freestyles in so we can we can talk about this and so we can try to come up with a solution. Try to well well you know you know we're also throwing around the idea of doing something like the winter music conference but for freestyle tommy so that might be something for everybody to get together and hang out and get to know each other that would be a weekend we all hang out same hotel um get to know each other you know talk about the industry what we can do to help it make it grow so i guess that's something like what you were talking about right latif yeah 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 we could yeah I mean, there's, there's, like I said, we do travel and we do, we do go to different cities. Unfortunately, we can't, you know, it's hard for us for different situations, different, you know, uh, situations why we can't go and just kind of uh, make those, those kind of trips. We're just not, we're just not, we just can't, it's hard. We, we, like I said, we have grandkids here at the house, so we're always here with them, except on the weekends when we go on the road, you know? But, uh, well, we're definitely, we're de listen, once we get past this pandemic, you know, because this has been really crazy. And we're praying that now with the vaccine that this opens up and that, you know, I really feel, you know, I, I, you know, there's a lot of pluses to what happened. And this is, let's go back because I don't want to get off topic. Let's go back right. to social. Let's go back. To, we have a few minutes left. Let's go back to social media for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Because even though this pandemic had everyone pretty much at home, at home, I feel that a lot of progress has been made. I feel that a lot of new relationships have been made. I feel that a lot of people have come up with new ideas on, you know, what if this happened for real? What if this was permanent? What happens? You know, listen, the last show that Angel had, she literally said, I don't know what made her say it, but she says, you never know if this would ever be my last show. And actually it was, that was in March. So that we was never February, know. February, 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 and that was February. the last that was show. The of, that was the last weekend of February. Yeah, and I was in Texas, and I remember her saying that for whatever the reason was. Austin, and Texas. Then, 
And then when the pandemic hit, she reminded me. She said, you don't remember me saying this? I said, actually, I do. And it's crazy because I got really emotional. It was the end of the show. I said it. I'm walking off stage and I can feel my like tears coming down my eyes. Yeah. You know, it was it was just so crazy. It was yeah. it was a crazy feeling. It was it was and it was such a great show. You know, there were yeah. so many fans there and everybody loved the show and they were showing us so much love and it was just I don't know, man, it was crazy. It's yeah. crazy. But but even though now now imagine imagine eyes. <laughs> imagine imagine, <laughs> imagine eyes had this pandemic happen and we didn't have social media. Oh god. Demarie, De Marie, you think about it as a manager. How would social media have affected your business? How, I mean, how the pandemic would have affected your business had social media not exist. I think personally me, I mean, I've dealt I've wrote, I've worked this business with no social media. I used to sit there and, and mail out postcards with my roster on it. You know? So I know what it was like. Do I ever want to do that again? Never ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, thinking about it right now is haunting. Like, oh my yeah, god, did I, did I really do that? Did I really put freaking stamps on five thousand postcards and just kind of like mail them out to my mailing list? Uh -huh. That's bananas, you know. You but got a I question? Did you got a question? Okay. That sounds cool, Angel, but I hope that you guys come to New York soon because I don't have a passport or anything to fly and stuff like that. So. Plus, I'm afraid of flying anyway, to be honest with you, but, you know, <laughs> but that'd be cool. You know, a lot of people are afraid of flying now, Tom, but you know what they do? They drive. Or they take a train. Or they take or a they, bus. Or they walk. And they don't always have to fly. I know, listen, I don't like to fly. I fly because I have to and for convenience to get someplace quick to get back and take care of these babies. Yeah, but I don't drive I anywhere. Could, I would drive everywhere. I drive to my mailbox, check the mail, and back. <laughs> That's at the end of my driveway. <laughs> Anywhere else, I'm flying. I do not drive. <laughs> I don't drive. I fall asleep. I fall asleep when I'm driving, people. So I'd rather fly. Oh my God! Yes, you do. <laughs> so, but um, I want I want everybody to 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 really think about you know what we're talking about, and I want you to to understand what we're trying to do with this format. It's not perfect. We're working on it. We're trying to really find the voice. We're trying to find uh, what what it is that we're really, you know, how can we articulate what we're trying to do? How can we really make it work? This is why we invited you guys in here to really to help us, to help us because we can't, we'll never be able to do it uh, on our own. However, me and Angel are legitimate personnel of the freestyle industry, the both spectrums, management, agent, artists. We're both very busy very active and pretty significant in the genre. So we do have a lot to offer and we are an open book and we are willing to help and answer whatever questions. We are not scared or, or worried about someone taking something from us. We are here to share. What we do ask is for you know everyone, of course, to follow us, not only on this one, but follow us on our other pages. We're not over there you know, trying to sell stuff. We're trying to uh, encourage people and we're trying to build something here and I believe that we can do it I, I think with, with everyone's help uh, little by little it's not going to be an overnight thing we can roll with this you know for a while and just really kind of kind of help but we're an open book we're really really uh, um, I, I'm I really want to see a change in this it's you know it will help us Dean Marie trust me we get other artists on board younger artists not, not only trust a change but longevity yeah, I'm not looking to manage them. I'm not, that's, there's no strings attached. I'm not looking to book them. I'm not looking to do any of that stuff. I will if I have to, but that's not the point. The point is, is I want to see, you know, other acts come on board. You know, our acts should be mentoring, teach somebody, pull someone under the wing. There's so many kids out there that want to sing and they, all they think that exists is R&B and hip hop. And those markets are so, so saturated. You know, freestyle is so much room. There's so much room. And the more artists we get on, we, what happens is we start to build this really healthy competition. That means we'll need more promoters. We'll need more agents. We'll need more clubs we'll see. Fans will start to 
to gravitate to it. The older artists will start to get another level of respect, just like the old, the young, the, the younger hip hop, the way that that those artists are to the OGs. You know, they have that 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 you know that freaking reverence to them. You know what I'm saying? So right. you know, you know. So we we're gonna continue. We'll be changing the topics on these shows. We don't know. We talk about it the night before, and then we'll post it. So. Uh, stay subscribed to us as soon as we come on. Subscribe to the show. Come on in. If you have questions, please ask the yeah, questions. Follow us. Follow us as well. Follow us. Yeah, you know, and and let's let's uh, you know, we can do this together. I'm here. Like I said, this is new to us, just like it's new to you. So yeah, we're gonna like. I will. You. We will. Listen, listen. We're about to wrap up. So why don't you take these two questions? You got two questions there. Okay. Okay. Hold on. What about introducing a new artist in these freestyle events that um, can cross over into freestyle and kind of in, in an updated version? I mean, um, like, for example, if the cover girls come out, they do um, some of their original songs and then they introduce a potential new up and rising freestyle uh, individual that yeah. they, they truly yeah. believe in. Absolutely. And I so, think that's yeah. a great idea, Al. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, what we need is we need them seasoned. So we need people to step up and find these artists. They're not all, I'm not going to find them all. Maybe, Al, maybe you know somebody. Maybe you could, you know, you could call right. me and say, hey, I found this kid. This kid wants to sing. He's really good. What should I do? And then I'll tell you. Then you got to see if they're interested. Because you might play the music. They might be like, that shit is whack. So we got to find <laughs> the ones that might see something yeah. in it. They are. They right. do exist. Let me check this other message. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, my my motto in the back of my mind is always say my name, say my name. <laughs> Wear it out, right? Um, but yeah, no, this is a great, great thing. Um, I, I'm so excited to know that you are going on. You hold a lot of information, the two of you together, um, going back to, you know, even pre, you know, uh, social media, which is something that is funny that you ask. It's like, wow, what what would I have done without social media during this pandemic? And it would have been to go back to the basics. And I think that that's yep. something I'm getting out of this myself. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking this time and, you know, giving us the knowledge that you're you're both filled with. And uh, I hope you both have a great day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. And yeah. yes, you know what? We do. We absolutely do have a lot of knowledge and, and we want to share it. You know, we want to yeah. share it with you guys. So you keep this industry going. And, there, and there's things that you guys know that, trust me, we're overseeing. We're, right. and, we're, we're, and we're hoping we, we grab hold of that. You know, there's some stuff that is right. just shooting over our heads. And we really, really want to make sure that we're in tune and that we know what's going on. We, You know, if we can help, we're here to help. You know, and and you know, it's for, it's a bigger picture involved. We're not talking about individual artists or whatever. It's the whole. It's the big picture. And I just want you village. guys. It yeah, takes think, a village. Think about it tonight. We're gonna end the session now. We appreciate you guys again. Please follow us, and um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm glad we didn't have any technical difficulties, and we got through this. Um, and uh, that's it. Yeah, please just... join us tomorrow. Subscribe to our show. So you don't miss any shows because we, we may just pop titles. up with extra shows here and there besides uh, our regular noon show. So subscribe. So you always know when we're going to be on the air. All right, guys, we're going to, we're going to uh, tune out right now. Again, be cool. Be blessed. Be careful out there. Wear your mask. Keep those hands clean. Watch Look over those, the, the elderly. Keep an eye on those kids. God bless. Be safe. Yeah, stay safe. God bless. Peace out.